Okay. Question 22. Got a lovely little circle here. And then it gives us the equation of the circle here. Remember, circles operate like this x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared, where the center is plus a plus b, even though it's minus here, and the radius is equal to r, even though it says r squared. So this is radius 4, center 0, 0. So just as a little bit of it. Well, we want to plot x plus y equals 2 on our graph. So let's rearrange this. So y is equal to minus x plus 2. That for me is a gradient is minus 1 and a y intercept which is 2. So let's plot that on here. Y intercept of 2 and every square I go across I'm going down by the gradient. So down by 1. Actually, I get this. So this is where your line x plus y equals 2. Oops, I just missed there. Now if we plot this, that's our line there. And we can see that we're going to get solutions here and here. But better than that, let's put out a dotted line and we can see that we have to read off those values here and reading up there and across there and we have to be as accurate as we possibly can so here this solution has got an x value of minus 1.7 and a y value this point has got a y value if we read off here 3.246 and a y value of 3.7 here we've got an x if we go along to get down to this point here I have to go along 3. Point on here it says 3.6 and then going down is minus 1.246 minus 1.7 so actually I think technically this would be 3.7 but I'm just reading off from what my graph is here okay so you have to read off carefully from your graph so that means the solutions we've got when x was 1. Point oh, when x was 3.6, when x was 3.6, y was minus 1.7. That was our first solution here. And then when x was minus 1.7, when x was minus 1.7, the y value came out as 3.7. And they're looking to see how accurately you can draw this line on the graph, but also how accurately you can read these off. This is one pair. It's the second one we did, and this was the first pair we did.